You're looking live at Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Although in our camera view here, you're seeing a little bit of shake from the breezy weather conditions, we understand that the weather is go for tonight's launch and proceeding with the countdown, loading liquid oxygen and uh, rocket grade kerosene aboard the first stage of the rocket. You can really see those vapors building up around the first stage of the rocket now. That isn't actually venting from the rocket. That, uh, those vapors are caused by the humidity in the atmosphere hitting the cold surface of the, of the rocket's tanks. Visibility is uh, very good this evening at Cape Canaveral and uh, we're getting a, an excellent view of uh, those vapors building up around the first stage of the rocket.
Pogo. So we're coming up on the point where the where the uh, first stage tanks uh, will be uh, filling uh, filling up, and we'll be moving on to the second stage. And uh, part of that process, we'll see the so-called big vent as uh, propellant is flowed through the strong back that you see up against the right side of the rocket, and uh, we'll see the. Uh, plume of vapors, which are, I think you can just make out just starting now, uh, that indicate the chill down of those lines and the strong back is now underway. And again, this is part of the uh, process uh, to get ready to start the loading of propellants aboard the second stage of the Falcon 9. and stage two locks load has begun.
Good evening. You're looking live at Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida, where liftoff of a Falcon 9 rocket is currently just about 15 minutes away, a little less than 15 minutes now, on the Starlink 435 mission. This mission, again designated as Starlink 4-35, is set to launch 52 Starlink Internet satellites. This will be the uh, third Falcon 9, fourth Falcon 9 launch of the month, actually, all dedicated primarily to the Starlink network. A couple of those did carry Rhineshire payloads. And this will be the 43rd SpaceX Falcon 9 launch of the year. And about two thirds of those missions have been primarily dedicated to the Starlink program. So you can see the Starlink network, if you haven't been keeping up, is uh, indeed taking the lion's share of the Falcon 9 launch manifest so far this year. 52 more satellites set to launch in less than 14 minutes time from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. I'm Stephen Clark from Space Flight Now, actually reporting on this mission uh, from Vandenberg Space Force Base, where we just saw a Delta IV Heavy rocket lift off with a classified payload for the National Reconnaissance Office less than an hour ago. And now on the opposite coast, we're monitoring the launch of a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket with assistance from uh, Stephen Young there at the Kennedy Space Center with the camera work. Again, looking live at Space Launch Complex 40, propellant loading on the Falcon 9 rocket began T minus 35 minutes. And at this point, the Falcon 9's second stage is fully loaded with kerosene fuel the second stage liquid oxygen loading began about four minutes ago, and both propellants, kerosene and liquid oxygen, continue flowing into stage one of the Falcon 9 on pad 40. This booster uh, on this mission tonight is uh, known as tail number booster 1073. This booster 1073 is making its fourth trip to space. It debuted back on May the 14th with a Starlink mission. It launched again on June the 29th with uh, the SES-22 TV broadcasting satellite. And then it launched again last month on August the 9th with another batch of Starlink satellites. And its fourth flight is set for tonight, heading to orbit with 52 more Starlink payloads. If you're just joining us and you haven't had a chance to do so, please hit that like button on our YouTube stream. It helps us gain a bigger audience for our coverage. So if you haven't done so yet, please hit the like button. You can also join our YouTube channel. You can become a member. We have different tiers of membership available for you to choose from. And depending on which level you select, you can gain access to bonus video features for members only from our coverage of uh, launches in Florida and elsewhere around the world. Again, we were out at Vandenberg Space Force Base uh, today covering the Delta IV Heavy launch, the final Delta IV launch from the West Coast. Two more Delta IV rockets uh, in ULA's inventory still to fly from Cape Canaveral. Now approaching uh, T minus 10 minutes until launch.
now approaching nine minutes until tonight's instantaneous launch opportunity, which is set for 7.32 p.m. in 10 seconds, 7.32.10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. That is 23.32.10 UTC. That's the exact launch time this evening. I want to give a big shout out to Artemis for uh, their uh, donation in the Super Chat. Big thanks for your support. After liftoff, the Falcon 9 will be heading northeast from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Again, this launch is occurring just after sunset on Florida's Space Coast this evening. A Saturday night rocket launch from Cape Canaveral, now less than nine minutes away. So the Falcon 9 will be heading northeast after liftoff from Pad 40 this evening. It'll be climbing into the upper atmosphere, heading over the Atlantic Ocean. And then the ground track this evening, we don't have a map for you, unfortunately, tonight, but the uh, ground track this evening will take the Falcon 9 to the northeast, flying roughly parallel to the east coast of the United States, a very familiar flight path if you've watched our coverage from previous Starlink launches. And the drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, is located about 400 miles downrange. That's one of three landing platforms, offshore landing platforms, in SpaceX's uh, inventory or fleet of uh, maritime vessels. Again, the drone ship tonight is a shortfall of Gravitas, parked about 400 miles downrange to the northeast from Cape Canaveral. That's roughly due east of uh, Charleston, South Carolina. The countdown clock is approaching T minus seven minutes. At T minus seven minutes, we expect to hear the call uh, that engine chill down is underway. Engine chill has started. There's the call. Engine chill has started. So engine chill down underway. This is a customary part of most rocket countdowns, at least rockets that are using a cryogenic propellant. This is a necessary to thermally condition the engine uh, pumps and inlets and other hardware uh, for the rapid flow of liquid oxygen when those engines uh, get the ignition command. And this involves flowing just a little bit of that liquid oxygen chilled uh, several hundred degrees below zero uh, through some of the plumbing in the engine compartment to condition those elements for flight. We just heard also that the fuel load is complete on stage one. So Falcon 9 has been fully fueled with rocket grade kerosene. This is known as rocket propellant one, RP1. It's a highly refined kerosene that's uh, burned by the Merlin engines on the Falcon 9 rocket. Now inside of six minutes until liftoff. Countdown is now inside of T minus five minutes for the next milestone. Strong back retract. We're listening to uh, periodic calls from SpaceX's launch control team. They just talked about strong back, strong back retract. That's the next big milestone in the countdown. That'll be coming up in just a few seconds. Uh, the strong back is the structure to the right of the uh, Falcon 9 rocket in this view. It'll be retracting to an angle of about 1.5 to 1.8 degrees away from the Falcon 9. And we, we're hearing now that the strong back is retracting. 
This begins with the opening of clamps uh, near the top of the strong bank that actually wrap around the second stage of the Falcon 9 rocket. And then that uh, strong bank reclines to an angle again of about 1.5 to 1.8 degrees. At liftoff, that strong back mass will uh, do a further retraction, a more rapid retraction, to clear the way for the Falcon 9 to begin its climb off the pad. Now inside of T-minus four minutes. Again, if you're just joining us, if you haven't hit the like button on our YouTube stream, we do invite you to do so now. That helps us gain as many uh, as many people watching our coverage as possible before liftoff. Everything looking good for the 43rd SpaceX launch of 2022, less than three and a half minutes away. Stage one, locks load complete. Stage two locks throttle back. Two locks load complete. All right, guys, close ups. Falcon 9 is in startup. Now inside of 60 seconds until launch, we heard those calls a few moments ago that the liquid oxygen load has been completed on board the Falcon 9. There's the call from the launch director that uh, he's go for launch. Propellant tanks are now pressurizing for flight. Vent valves are closing to bring those uh, kerosene and liquid oxygen tanks on both stages up to flight pressure T-minus inside 30 of 30 seconds. seconds. Fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off of Starlink four thirty five. Go lift Falcon off, nine. Lift off of the Falcon nine rocket with fifty two more Starlink Internet satellites heading to orbit tonight from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station Eagle, in Florida. Let's listen range. to the Merlin engines as they do Stage their work powering this Falcon novel. 9 off the pad on the Starlink 435 mission.
power into telemetry nominal. Great view here of Falcon 9 darting in and out of clouds over the space coast. Okay. Heading northeast from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Falcon 9 is now supersonic. It's past Mach 1. Everything looking good. A little more than a minute into the flight. Next Q. Beautiful shots of Falcon 9 climbing into a twilight sky. Getting some sun now as it rockets into the upper atmosphere. It should be a great show for those of you able to watch in person. Passing two minutes, a little more than two minutes into the flight, the next major milestones will be main engine cutoff of the first stage engines, followed by stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage Merlin vacuum engine. And then 